Hey friends, my name is Steve Guttenberg and I am the Audiophiliac and I just wanted to say a few quick words about Aretha Franklin. She's passed and I'm so sad to hear that news. She was called the Queen of Salt. She was the Queen of Salt, no doubt about it. She was the one. She had the voice, she had the power, she had the passion. Not, nobody else ever touched her. Uh, when I first heard her in the 60s, uh, when she started on Atlantic Records, it was instantaneous. Everybody knew it. She was the one. She had it. But the interesting thing is that she was on another label, Columbia Records, where she made five records, I believe, for Columbia Records before uh, she left because those records kind of stiffed and I, I certainly never heard of her when she was on Columbia. So she moves to Atlantic and Jerry Wexler produces her first session. And uh, in his biography, which I, I can't find right now, I can't find the name of it, I'm sure you can figure it out, Jerry Wexler. Um, so anyway, he produces her first session. And when Aretha arrives in the studio, she says hello to the band, she says hello to Jerry and everybody, and then she starts heading for the vocal booth. And Jerry says to her, wait, 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 Aretha, come back, come back. Uh, come and sit at the piano, run down the tunes, and let's get a groove going with the band. And she did. And she had a number one hit right out of the box with Atlantic. I never loved a man the way I loved you. And you got to think, she had that voice, she had that passion when, for the five records she made for Columbia. But it didn't happen at Columbia. Could it have been just that Jerry Wexler made the record in a different way. I'm sure they had great, talented musicians on her Columbia records, but maybe it was just that, that with Aretha, it really was about the groove, and she got the band involved in the music instead of just playing the charts. And um, she went on to great success at Atlantic Records and made so many great records on Atlantic. Her post-Atlantic period, eh, not so much, but at Atlantic, it was magic, absolute magic. And I will recommend my favorite, which is not generally thought of in that, in that room, is this one, Aretha in Paris. And it's an Atlantic recording. And uh, to hear her live with an incredibly enthusiastic audience was, is really, really wonderful. So I recommend that if you're just getting into it. And of course, all of her hits are definitely worth your time. Anyway, I'm so, so, so sad to hear about Aretha. And um, I guess that's it. Thanks so much for watching.